I think the great thing about esports is you're, I mean, we've got, we're in seven titles right now, so there's a lot of video gaming to watch. So the more kind of growth that we get, the more mainstream it gets, and then after that, it's just evolu you know, time. Time is gonna add to the fact that people are, more people are gonna be watching, more people are gonna be playing, and, and, and it's gonna get better. You could just tune in and really get a basic understanding immediately of what's going on. Esports needs a bit more of that. It also needs a bit more of the media stories, which is coming for the traditional esports ecosystems, which is like League of Legends, Counter-Strike, Dota. For us, this is really about solidifying the longevity of the sport, developing brand partnerships, and really giving value back to the partnerships, which is obvious and, and, and quantifiable. This year, I think it's going to be a lot about mobile esports, a lot about Battle Royale, seeing how these really up and coming games can develop potentially into fully fledged esports ecosystems. It is different to sports, but not too different. So, you know, don't be afraid to use sports analogies. You know, learn from things like influencers, YouTubers, Twitch streamers. They add a lot of different value than you might not have in traditional sports. I think the numbers are already there. So, it's really about them just having that confident level that this is a valuable uh, you know, place to put their money. When I watch a Counter-Strike game versus a, like a miracle comeback in League of Legends, sometimes a League of Legends just has more excitement to me. I'm very competitive, hence why I created an eSports team. Uh, I try not to play too many games because it gets me I already play too many games, you know, if I, especially on the weekend if I'm like, no, and, and yeah, I'm, I've watched I get my fix, but I don't need to get any more other fixes right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>